you don't have any woods like vetiver or sandalwood etc so the name is like you'll be questioning the name like it's called vanilla woods where are the woods at Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Iman and it's been a little while since I posted. Um, lately I've been working on a lot of things, new projects, a lot of things have been happening. So I have been taking kind of more time handling my life to, as, as a whole. I have like a trip plan, etc. So I have a lot of things going on, which is why I've not been asked as consistent as I usually am so um I apologize for that I think it's it should be I'm, I should be back to my normal posting schedule somewhere around mid-November I hope uh, I'll keep you updated you'll see new videos or not but you I will make it uh, work for you so today I'm back with a video that's actually long overdue I had promised that video um, back when I returned from Boston in my Boston shopping haul and it's the review of this amazing vanilla wood fragrance from the brand The Seven Virtues. So um, actually this perfume, I had heard a lot of great things about it because if you don't know, at this point I don't know how you don't know that, but I am a lover, I am a sucker actually for vanilla perfumes, so I did a lot of research around like great vanilla perfumes and this one came up a lot, uh, especially as like a signature, very easy to wear vanilla fragrance, but not like a childish vanilla fragrance because it has the woody notes that make, make it really um, kind of sexier in my opinion. And actually this fragrance is not available in Europe. It's not available in France at least. I think it's not available in Europe altogether. So I was only able to get my hands on it when I went to Boston. So I'm going to get into the review for you, um, how I feel about it, how I like it, the notes, etc. And in at the end of the video, actually I'm going to do a comparison with one other vanilla per perfume that I really, really like, that I've been really uh, enjoying and that I'm just going to tell you how I feel they compare. So this perfume, the notes are first, um, top note is pear, middle notes, rose, and base notes is where you have vanilla, caramel, and amber. So let's spray it and I'm going to tell you exactly how it smells just like when I put it on. I don't like, that's why I, I decided to read the notes because I don't really get the pear when I spray it, even even when I wear it for a long time because I've been wearing it for some time now. Um, I never really get the pear, all the rose, but I definitely get all the base notes, the vanilla, the caramel and the amber. And the truth is like, in this notes, in the notes here, the note list, you don't have any woods like vetiver or sandalwood, etc. So the name is like you'll be questioning the name, like it's called vanilla woods. Where are the woods at, basically? But um, it definitely is my kind. Like what I said in the in the haul video. I, I had heard a lot of great things about it. I decided to try it and it smelled exactly like something, like a, a perfume I used to smell when I was younger on somebody. I don't, at least it brought back memories and I, I don't know which memories exactly, but it's just a scent that I know I used to smell when I was younger. And the last time actually uh, I had a similar um, experience with the perfume, with that scent, was actually for the Kayali perfume. And I have a video also on the Kayali perfume. So pretty much what I'm saying is to me, these two smell the same. They really do. And these two smell the same. And the thing is, when I tried this one for the first time, it already reminded me of one perfume that I really, really, really love which is the African musk. 
and that's this it's the same thing i remember when i smelled that vanilla mask that i bought i bought in 2018 in london in um in a small shop and uh i was just smelling random perfumes and this one came in a roll-on i still have it actually but i'm very jealous i really i rarely use it it smells so good and i've not been really able to find it so when i first stumbled and tried this one that's exactly what it reminded me of so same thing i'm going to spray it and i'm going to give you like a comparison a side by side let's see so for the kayali actually the notes are first vanilla orchid as top notes vanilla orchid jasmine middle notes brown sugar and tonka bean and base notes amber musk amber wood and patchouli so you actually don't have the actual vanilla and what is odd now that i smell them side by side they are really different meaning the kayali the the vanilla wood once you spray it you get directly get the vanilla and woody notes like the more opulent notes this one you get definitely the the flower notes first so vanilla orchid jasmine and a little bit of musk and patchouli i would say and it's with time that i feel like it really settles it really sets into your skin and you get the more opulent and sweet notes so like right now because i've just been wearing them for just like a few minutes now and they are side by side they actually are different they actually are but because i've been wearing them for a long time i know they really are similar when i put them actually this is very odd so the vanilla the kayali vanilla is not smelling the way i usually smell it like it's an odd way to put it but when i i usually wear it it doesn't smell like that or at least i don't pay attention it's very very floral today maybe it's because i'm comparing it to the vanilla wood that's odd but in any case to me there's they smell very similar now i wouldn't say they are dupes for one another or at least one is not um, a cheaper dupe because they have exactly the same price. They are both $85 for 50 ml. Now, what I would say is at the time of this video, for the purpose of this video, this one, the Vanilla Woods, is a lot more um, opulent and a lot more vanilla. And the Vanilla from Kayali is a lot more floral but i like them both i think they are both great vanilla perfumes um and it really will depend on how uh how much you want a vanilla perfume that's really intense or a vanilla perfume that maybe has lighter notes at least at the beginning and that can evolve um throughout the day because honestly the vanilla woods the smell doesn't move much it stays really the same to me from the moment you spray it to the moment you finish your day, pretty much. Whereas I feel like the vanilla from Kayali, it just changes. Uh, the only thing I have uh, in comparison for the two, uh, well, you, they have different colors anyways, but um, I feel like the vanilla wood uh, doesn't stay as long as the Kayali. Like when I spray it, I feel like this one, um, it leaves. Like I, I don't smell it as much throughout the day as I smell this one. So maybe it's not as intense. Maybe the color has something to do with it. I have no idea. Don't quote me on that. But definitely, I feel like this one, you have to spray it a lot more often than this one. So that is it for the video. Definitely, this lives up to the expectations it's giving vanilla and it's giving wood so the name is not a lie because i know i've talked about fragrances and they had vanilla in there and i was like where the vanilla at because i don't smell it i smell flowers but not the vanilla flowers i was expecting so definitely it lives up to its name 
vanilla wood it smells very nice it smells very opulent and sweet just like i like my perfumes it definitely is price wise a great price i think for 50 ml it's 85 dollars so uh you can it's something that you can wear every day you're not going to be too like stingy on it like one spray and i'm, I'm out you can really wear that this every day but again the only thing the only issue i would say i have with it is its longevity to me it's not it doesn't last long enough when you spray it so i feel like you may have to spray it a lot more often during the day uh and i think they have a smaller size so maybe like you can ha have it in your purse me personally as i say uh, i said in a previous video when i spray my perfumes i pay attention that uh, to wear a moisturizer first that's like non-scented because the the fat particles they attract and they cap the the, the scents so it's a little tip for you when you're wearing your perfumes and i also like to spray my perfume on my actual clothes because I live in Ivory Coast, I live in Africa, so a lot of the times when you spray and it does like sweat, etc., it tends to remove your, your perfume and this one is especially light, but at least when it's on your clothes, it can stay longer, at least to me. I usually can still smell when I, I have my my clothes that when I remove them, I can still smell the, the, the perfume afterwards. So thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was long overdue. I'm very sorry. I'm going to get back really, as I said, into the grind, into planning, you know, Christmas, etc. is coming. We're mid-October. No, mid I was going to say mid-November. I wish. No, we're mid-October. And of course, uh, you know, for me, Christmas is November 1st. November 1st, we are in Christmas mode, people. Uh, so get ready. You know, I love Christmas. I'm going to do my best to plan some amazing content for Christmas. Um, why not probably a travel vlog? We'll see. Hopefully, yes, a travel vlog for Christmas period like I did last year, actually. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you and you got a lot of or got a lot more information about this perfume. Uh, definitely try it out. Uh, I think it's a good one. Uh, but, you know, that's really my opinion as a vanilla sweet type perfume lover. Uh, and I will be doing, I also have a, soon I will be doing a, the review video. No, actually, it's not a review. It's like a ranking video for the Kayali perfumes for all of them. And when I say all of them, I mean all of them because now I do have all of them. Wink, wink. You know what I'm talking about. Or maybe you don't. But that's it for the video. <laughs> I talked so much for no reason today. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I missed you guys. That's why. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.